So Jose Miranda is coming up with two outs. Line to left center field, a base hit for Jose Miranda. Unbelievable. Another hit, and the story continues for Jose Miranda. And now 12 straight plate appearances, reaching safely an all time Twins record. Now the fans are loving him, and for good reason. Check this out. Most consecutive at bats with a hit in MLB history ties the record. Johnny hit on Lynn. Saturday. Pinky, Pinky Higgins. Higgins. I knew you were going to say it. Pinky Higgins went two for three and then went at night, had a couple bourbons, and worked for a crime family and probably oh whacked. Oh, my gosh. Well, he, whacked a few. No, don't say he, that, he did, it uh, In all happened. seriousness, he did run afoul of the law. Did he really? Yeah, he did. Gosh. So. You think Walter Dropo wasn't hitting the street? <laughs> no, I mean, Walt, Walter, he could party with the best of them. I guess so. Yeah. What about Jose Miranda? But what about him? Jose, his, that is an unbelievable accomplishment. And I was looking at his baseball reference this morning because I'm a total loser. He, the average has never been this high. 12 hits in a row. 12 hits in a row. God. What that does for a batting average. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Eric Nays emails me a little manifesto. A manifesto. On, yeah, on Jose Miranda. He said, we need to give this guy some love. So let's do it. We're going to go quick rip of him over the weekend to 12 hits. We're going to dissect why he's been so effective, what he's been doing different. I know Yonder Alonso had him on MLB yes. tonight. Mm -hmm. They had a nice cutaway of him talking about what he's done different at the plate to kind of have this resurgence, especially from an average stand standpoint. And all different types, right? Two strikes, count leverage, In pouring rain. rain, beautiful sun, driving the ball the other way, pull side pop, doing everything to help this team win. Right there, change up, walking a dog on a 3-1 count. So I want to get into this once we get past this. First up, bring up the average leaders, because what 12 hits does for you kind of puts you right behind Stephen Kwan when it dust settles, right? Stephen Kwan, wow. 364. Jose Miranda sitting at 331. Christian Yelich is having a heck of a first half with Bobby Witt. No, Pro far. Sitting 330. Yeah. Woo. Took a slider yesterday. yesterday. Left on left, dead center in Dodger Stadium, which was super nice. Jose Miranda hitting 331. We're going to get into some side angles because he made some adjustments. Back, Get back into the tape, please. Just bullets all over the place. Unconscious. Hunter Brown doesn't matter. When you're staying on breaking ball 85 and shooting it over to second baseman's head, you know you're locked in. So I want you to slow click this. This is September of 22, April of 23, July of 24. I want you to slow click this ahead because I want you to get to when his hands are perfectly loaded. Pause. Okay. You can see it right here. Obviously staying a little bit more athletic in his stance, not getting as deep into his legs. But what, I, what you notice the most, and I was this guy. Some kids at home, for me, when I watched Buster Posey load his hands, it was minimal. It was almost like nothing was happening, right? It was just an easy move for him to keep his hands right here. Myself, my hands did not want to go back for whatever reason. I just felt super tight in my chest and my arms right here to try and get back here. That felt uncomfortable. So my load when I did it was down, down and back up. But it's got to get back up. And you see right here, he drops his hands as well. But what does that leave you susceptible to? It leaves you susceptible to the high fastball. And in today's game, if your hands don't come back up, you are getting beat to that spot because it's down here and then it's a recoil reach to try and get to that ball. So what has he done? He's cleaned his hands up a little bit. They're more along for the ride than this gigantic driving them down and trying to bring them back up. So run this. And he's able to get to more balls at the top of the zone. There's no question about it. The proof's in the pudding. We dove into the numbers. You see it right here. Jose Miranda versus four seams and sinkers thrown 2.7 feet or higher. 2022 hitting 203. Last year he couldn't hit it at all. So you make the necessary adjustments how guys are attacking you in the offseason. He's come back. 2024 he's hitting 268. 268 with a 610 slug. Give me the hot change to that next board. 95 plus. Look at him last year against 95 plus. You better wow. be able to hit velocity at this level, right? He was one for 20 last year. I'm sure a lot of variables play into that. 
but he made the necessary adjustments. 14 for 48, he's hitting 292. So he's, he's adjusted his hands, he's handling high velocity. Let's get into it. So if you're gonna climb top of the zone, you better bring it, because his hands are short, staying Ooh. on top. You don't see this kind of almost load down to his belt buckle, and then this attempt to bring it back up. They're staying tight to his hand, uh, to his head right there, and he is just dropping the foot down and letting it go. So he's handling that. Crazy how he's handling off speed. Ooh. Pete Fairbanks, you'd normally be on 97 to 100 miles an hour coming out of Fairbanks. Hangs a breaking ball in a one-two count, and he's all over it. Oh, gracious. Mommy. I almost feel like he has taken his hands out of, out of the equation from a mindset point of view. He is just letting his lower half kind of load his hands, mm. and they're just staying tight to his body. So pause this. Bring up versus non-fastball. Highest batting average versus non-fastball 2024 season. He's number one. 363. So he handles high velocity. He handles the non fastball. Can he hit with two strikes? Yes, he can hit with two strikes. I mean, you look at him right here, highest average with two strikes. Stephen Kwan, who's hitting north of 360. Luis Arise, Mason Wynn, Witt, Miranda. There's Jose Ramirez and Trey Turner. So uh -huh. you got. You got to look at it, right? He's going to drop his hands here. Where are they going to attack you? They're going to try and attack you right up here. So he's made that adjustment, and it's worked for him. I love that you show average leaders, average leaders, four boards. I, we didn't, we haven't done that in a while. I feel like ten years ago we didn't. Yeah, and of course his cousin is Lin Manuel Miranda, yes. who uh, you know created Hamilton, and uh, as you said, he's part of this list, which includes Johnny Kling, and I believe we have a photo. We, you know how we love the old headshots. Who says? Wow. This is, I mean, this guy's so old, they didn't even have cameras. I mean, well, he Johnny. his collar. Yeah, he's popping a collar. Look at him. I mean, what was that guy doing? Eating cornflakes with turpentine corn, in corn it. Cornflakes. Cornflakes. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think they even that. had box cereal then. I think Why it was just, so sad? you know, you got to forge for your own food. What was he eating for breakfast? Possum? Probably. <laughs>